Now, if you thought Theresa May was having a pretty torrid time, consider the fortunes of her colleague across the English Channel. In France, President Emmanuel Macron has had a very difficult time indeed in the last few weeks with burning cars and uh, rioting in the streets of Paris, people daubing graffiti on national monuments and a sense that his presidency might even be under threat. And it all seems to come down to a feeling that people represented on the streets now by the Gilets Jaunes, the Yellow Jackets, are people who've been left behind, who've been ignored, who've not been listened to when it came to rising fuel prices, for example. So this all set us to thinking about the problem of connected leadership, of people who are the leaders actually being in touch with the people that they're leading and how this can fall down both in politics and business. Well, one person who knows a lot about this is Christine Comerford. Now, she's a leadership consultant based in California. She's been an advisor to several American presidents. I spoke to her asked earlier, and I asked her about the problems of senior politicians like President Macron of France seeming to be out of touch with a number of his own people. We have to have three things to be a connected leader, and it doesn't matter if we're in politics or the corporate boardroom or in a nonprofit. We have to be high in emotional intelligence, which means aware of our own feelings and able to self-regulate, meaning if we're angry, we don't send the flame email, but also the social competence part, which is aware of others' experience and being able to navigate other people's emotions. Second, we've got to foster the experience of safety, belonging, mattering, which Macron has basically thrown out the window. And then we've got to be emotionally resilient so we can adapt and adjust and lead people through any emotional challenges. It's very interesting that she would it out like that, because obviously I know you've advised presidents yourself in the past. Do you find politicians naturally have have those qualities you're talking about? Uh, some of them do. Some of them don't. So of the presidents that you, you've talked to, I mean, have you often found that they I'm not saying in specific terms, but are, are, have you noticed occasionally perhaps even a feeling that they don't? see the need necessarily to be as aware as you're saying of, of people's feelings. Yes, and the problem is when they have that king mentality, ordained by God, you know, versus, hey, let's remember we were elected by the people. We're here in service to the people. And if they, if you can inculcate that, it, it, do they even really have the ability? Because a lot of uh, leaders, of course, are protected by cordons of, of people who prevent them getting access or finding out bad news particularly. It depends on the leader. But I do find the ones that truly believe in the value of the people that want to foster that experience of, hey, you're safe with me. We belong together. You individually matter. Yes, then they can learn that or they can at least focus on it and course correct when things go awry. But when we look at what's happening with Macron, what's so interesting is he gave a speech recently with the slogan of let's change together, but he's not building any togetherness. So what's he missing then? He's missing perhaps uh, the reality. He's missing perhaps the mechanisms of finding out what people think and feel. He's hearing what they think and feel. He's just choosing to ignore it. Think back to Maslow. Once we have food, water, shelter, warmth, the most important things beyond that are safety, security, freedom from fear. Look at what's happening with yellow jackets. They're actually wearing safety vests. It's so it's such an interesting metaphor. They're not feeling safe. Belonging, we're not in this together, Macron. And then mattering, you're not hearing what we're saying. So this cultural revolution that he wants to create, he's totally missing that a revolution is not done by one person. It's a collaboration. It's meeting people where they are. If they're upset, it's sitting down with them saying, talk to me, let's collaborate. Let's figure out how to handle this. He's holding himself above others, which is causing tremendous disconnection. And this isn't going to change until he can actually get down there with the people and collaborate with them. Do you, do you find a similar problem with business leadership? Are, are there business leaders you've met or, or helped who've had similar problems in connecting with the people they need to connect with? Yes, absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that we're brought in most often to work on in our executive coaching work is leaders that say, hey, Christine, come in and fix my people. And the first thing we have to say is, well, your people are operating within a system. How did you help create it? How are you helping to sustain it? I was going to say, because almost, it, almost they seem as if they're not aware of the problem in the first place. Well, they're aware there is a problem, but not what that problem is. Yes, and it's back to low emotional intelligence, Roger. 
They're not looking at their part of it. They are saying, fix this thing outside of me. I don't want to take responsibility for it. Now, great leaders enroll people, engage people, align people. They, they cultivate, they elevate, they empower. And that's how we know that they actually care. So when we don't bother to engage them, to enroll them, to align them, to cultivate, elevate, empower, we're basically saying you don't matter, which is Macron's problem. I mean, bringing it right back home to where we are here in Britain, of course, we have a prime minister who's under severe pressure at the moment. Many people say that she is not really a leader. Do, do you detect in what you hear from her? I mean, do, do you think she is someone who connects or someone who doesn't? Uh, I see her inconsistently connecting. I don't think she's where Macron is, which is, woo, really need some help learning how to connect. I think May has, has more potential. I just think she's in the middle of a battlefield and she could be choosing her allies more effectively and she could be listening to the people more effectively. Christine Comerford there.